Well, it is good news for a man who had his vehicle stolen. Surveillance cameras had captured a car thief take off with a Jeep. It was in a Council Bluffs driveway. Today, though, that Jeep is back with its owner. Aaron Murray has a story you will only see on 6. Back in over on this okay. side here. That Michael Bozen and his grandfather come to Arrow Towing in Council Bluffs to pick up his Jeep. You wouldn't think it'd be that often. He's happy to see it because last Monday, this man stole it right out of Bozen's driveway. Five days later, the Jeep resurfaced. My Jeep was parked over here. It was just kind of sitting in the grass. From a tip, Council Bluffs police found it here Friday night at 19th and Avenue F. It's a good thing someone did call in a tip because the house the car was parked behind, it's for sale. So there's no telling how long that car could have sat there unnoticed. That night it had to be towed because Bozen didn't have the keys and the vehicle registration was also stolen. Bozen now firmly believes the man caught on camera is no car theft rookie. The reason why? These in transit stickers left on the vehicle. They were put on the very same day the Jeep was stolen. They took the plates off so that way if they were driving around nobody would stop them because they had the in transit on it. Bozen and his wife are glad to have the Jeep back. They just aren't glad to figure out now how much damage was done. Most of the interior attacks, surprisingly, but it's just. But it's all this, it's, this, it's stuff, this stuff that's, that's gone. Money. Yeah. And sadly, a look under the hood reveals a lot more money will have to be spent to get this Jeep back on the road. You may remember when we first broke this story, the family told us taking this financial hit like this would prevent them from being able to have their little girl's first birthday this weekend. But Thanks to donations from the community, I'm told the birthday will definitely take place. They really just want to thank everyone and anyone that played a part in helping. That is great to hear. Thank you, Aaron. Well, Council Bluffs police will be getting fingerprints off the vehicle in the next few days. They hope those will match up with a few suspects that they have already identified.